All right, we're back. We have got um, we've got a lot of stuff to do here. Mary Linton. What is this? Charles Chatonnet. Ch oh, this is the artist dude. That artist guy is hilarious. He's from France. Okay, we got Dutch. I always want to call Dutch Duke. I don't know why. Dutch has been investigating the trolley tip. That's for money. Um, oh, sorry. Boater Hamzik had a question. Uh, when do you get the purple spark crystal? Is that a follower number thing? It's when you get to, I think this one, it's so every week it changes. It's when, this time, it's when we get to 500,000 sparks uh, is when we'll get there. So it looks like we made 100,000. Yeah, every week it changes and every week it gets harder. So I, th I think it'll reset like the first week of December. You know what I mean? Anyways, okay, so we got Dutch. We do have uh, this one, which, which I think will be interesting. This is... Uh, we might be able to help Evelyn Miller with lobbying officials in St. Denise on, uh, or San Denise, sorry, <laughs> on behalf of the Native American chief. I think that might be some interesting missions. Uh, and then we also have Josiah Trelawney investigating the riverboat. We already had the riverboat is why we're in this mess in the first place. I don't know why we're doing riverboat. Let's do the Native American mission, uh, American Fathers. Yeah, let's do that one first. I think that one, uh, I think that one's going to be a good time. I think that one's gonna be fascinating. Where's my horse, dude? That was uh, that was some crazy, crazy. That was a crazy mission, dude. The Sadie missions are some of my favorite. Oh, the music also is so good. Just the ambient music. I love it. Dude, those alligators, though, <laughs> scare me. You crazy? Why did that guy, like, run into me and then say I was crazy? Should we help these people? I feel like it's my duty to help people. Which one do you prefer, Grand Theft Auto or Red Dead Redemption 2? I'm not going to lie, Red Dead Redemption 2 right now. Oh, my goodness. Welcome. You are very welcome. Now let's uh, let's loot these raiders now. There we go. We save people because, uh, dude, cam chefs. Oh my man. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you very much, cam chefs, dude. You are too kind. I don't want to get in the water because there's like alligators here and stuff. We got a gold watch. Do we get any cash? This dude. This dude's like a tax collector, right? So he probably had. Oh. Oh, no. That one, that one gave me some not honor, apparently. Apparently you can't loot the good people. I should probably, uh, like, yep. re-ammo up sometime. <clears throat> so I should. Man, all these side... It's so, it's so easy to get sidetracked on these. Oh, my goodness. There he is. Shine. Good morning, baby. Good morning, Shine. How you doing? Cam chefs. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Dude, we, how many hits did we get? I think the most we got was like close to 200 one time. 60. Not that good. <laughs> Saint Denis. Saint Denis. 
Oh, did we get another one? Dude, Cam Chefs, you're like, you're rolling in the sparks. <laughs> Dude, let's see if we can beat 60 this time. Thank you very much, guys, for your support. Thank you very much for the sparks. It really means a lot to me. I appreciate it. Okay, we do have a stranger. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go talk to this stranger. We always hit the stranger missions because they are fascinating on our way. Why do I waste my time? Why? You okay, bud? Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors <laughs> and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, <laughs> help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall have <laughs> poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> toy maker. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? No. Oh, uh, we beat it. 66. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, Bobby. Yes. You meet him. Professor Marco Dragic, <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. <laughs> it is demonstration of my genius. Big Nuts. My ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity in ways you cannot see. Good for you. Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! And a moron. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us. Oh, dude, we're at 140. Oh, dude, you, that's this is gonna be a are. record. But maybe I can make you immortal. Immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this. You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I, I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take Nailed this. Nailed it. Record time. This. Don't touch that. Okay, here we go. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Oh, okay. Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boats to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have a certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now it's doing it's what I'm telling it. Battleship and shoot with torpedo. Battleship time. So this is like the invention of the submarine. Is this, uh, this is what you I'm to believe? What he does? No wire like telegraph. No pony system underwater. Only Whoa. waves. Oh, watch oh my goodness, we gotta watch out for this them. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatong. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. 
See ya. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that turkey is hilarious. Uh, this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. This thing, the telegraph machine. Oh my the goodness! They like... will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. Yeah. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rings in the air. Boom! Nailed that one. One left. One left. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> Viper, I love that game. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. You avoid the mines, yes? That is what controls are for. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you. <laughs> Look, I'm like smiling. I'm like having a good time. That's hilarious. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sir, it's incredible. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. <laughs> it is immortality, sir. It is. <laughs> I it like is touching cheap. stuff. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. Definitely. There, I will really amaze you. I would like to see what... I bet you he kills... He <coughs> dies of some I kind of crazy invention. forgive my European coarseness. My European coarseness. Camshafts says you're welcome for the sparks. There's no streaming team that deserves it more. Camshafts, thank you very so, much. So beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it, Camshafts. Sincerely, everybody, Genome, uh, Shine, Viper, everybody who supports us, thank you very much. I love hanging out with you guys Howdy, every single morning. Okay, let's see. Right. We're going to help the natives now. This this mission is, I feel like this is going to be an interesting mission. Hello? Hugh Death. Thank you, Hugh Death. Excuse me. Oh, here we go. Hey, do I know you? Mr... I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Mr. Arthur Morgan. At least Why do we give away our name Can if uh, we're going to commit rude? crimes? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, I, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say... Uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. We have great powers of observation. It's my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a uh, bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago. 
who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. Money? Ah! How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. Did I like, like this, like, you, five o'clock shadow I got? My time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, Dude, I think this is going to be some cool missions. Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. He's an angry dude. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Okay, that's the beginning of that. Uh, meet Eagle Flies near Cornwall, Cornwall, Kerosene and Tar. Oh, so that's back in uh, Strawberry. We gotta go back next to Strawberry. Uh, Boater Hamzik says, I love Arthur's voice, Arthur's voice actor. I agree. Dude, they picked the perfect dude uh, to, for, to voice act it, right? Perfect dude. Just the Nib said, one client down, just waiting on the next. I'm glad you're still on. Thank you very much, Just the Nib. Okay, let's see. So can we go over there right now? Or do we have to wait? Because, I mean, we did just see him. Yeah, we can't go over there right now. Because um, Cornwell is in Valentine. It's not Strawberry. Valentine. There it is. Citadel Rock. Okay, that is Citadel Rock. So we'll continue there afterwards. Should we go help out Mary Linton? Mary Linton, I mean, she's our, she's our old lover. A lover of all things lovers. We can, we can do a bounty as well I say we help out Miss Mary Linton hold on let me get my horse dude I love that this is like it's like a uh, it's a living city it's so good nothing like just trotting through town nothing like trotting through town baby Oh, this is the box office. Oh, we can actually go see a movie. I've yet to, I've yet to do that. I've yet to do that. The epitome of magic. That's hilarious. Okay, guys, I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna pause it right here. I'll be back. I just need to go refill on water. Take a quick five-minute break.